The Drop with Frank and Brian is officially brought to you by Switch Suspension. Switch Suspension specializes in all vehicle chassis components. Lift kits, lowering kits, air ride suspension, wheels, tires, steering, and brake upgrades. They use all the best products from the best brands. And these guys are truck guys. You roll into their parking lot at the shop and they all drive custom vehicles. So they use their products that they sell on their own vehicles. So if you guys are looking for anything for your vehicles, whether you're just starting out or you just need some replacement parts or whatever, give them a call or visit their website, switchsuspension.com. on the podcast we're recording I said you sound like you're you're my white wow i'm white oh sound like you're white you're right i said oh like right. Right. Oh, right. Oh, right. right right okay <clears throat> welcome to this week's episode the drop frank and brian brian frank and we have our returning guest our, our first, first our first guest. returning guest that's right mike Privilege. hold on What's up, man? Happy to be here, guys. <laughs> All right. It's been about a year since the last one. I know. So. It's been exactly a year. Huh? Also, thank you for bringing food. Which yeah, we'll insert the clip right here. Yeah. Oh, it was great. <laughs> the smorgasbord. It was great. You, were, you said you were joking when I got here, but you sounded serious on the way over. So I said, all right. When you come to my house, you have to make a decision if you want food or not, because it's not like you can just run down and get food. Yeah. 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 No, when I turned the GPS back on after I stopped that Jack in the Box, it said I had another 20 minutes. I was like, he's 20 <laughs> minutes Dude, he's from the nearest here. food? <laughs> yeah. He's out here. We have the gas station. so Yeah, yeah, that's the last down. resort sometimes. Chelsea will just like, I'll be right back. And she'll come back with like candy. Like up this one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. A dozen hot and, dogs for us. Yeah. <laughs> Glizzy, the roller wieners, yeah, the yeah. gas station glizzies, and then you're and like, then like a, a freaking fifteen dollar pint of Hagen Dazs, <laughs> and and then a, a fountain soda. Okay, and I'm like, you know, we have drinks. Like, it's like the Powerade out of the fountain too. So it's <laughs> all right. Sorry, Chelsea. Anyway, so what's going on, man? No, not how, much. How are you? Good. Hot. It's hot it's, out here. It's pretty freaking hot. You've been out here now what two days, three the days? Two days, and the the heat. Has been intense. Brian was like, like, want, like, excited for me to come out here to experience this, and I've done experienced it. Yeah, it's, it's dude, it's just too hot. It's it's disrespectful hot. As I thought about it too, I saw the forecast and it was saying like one fourteen. I was like, oh, that's, I guess that's not bad. I remember when you get like one twenty, and then yesterday, like, they crossed out like, oh, we thought the high was going to be one fourteen. It's actually one eighteen. Yeah, it was like, oh, it's man. insane. You man. can feel it on your skin too. I, so. I, we got to Joe's house last night. And I get out of the truck, and yeah, I felt my skin like tingling. Yeah. I was like, "This is ridiculous." At night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it was like wild. evening. So in, I do construction. So in my industry, we try to start early. So my guys are starting four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so I'm leaving when the it's house. still ninety degrees. It's still ninety. So I left a little later. I had a dentist appointment at eight o'clock. I'm getting on the freeway, and it says one o six. I was like, "It's one o six. And my kids, I'm having golf camp right now. Like, I feel <laughs> so bad for them because they're out there for two hours. Yeah. Like, Man, you're just like, sitting in here in this air conditioned house with a podcast. An Your kids here. are like uh, 78 in here. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need water, daddy. <laughs> no, I mean, besides that, so it, it, it slows down for us in summer. The guys mm-hmm. don't work as long because by noon it's scorching. Yeah. By two, three o'clock, it's the hottest time of the day. Yeah. Um, so it's summer slow down a little bit. I've been traveling a little bit with the family. That's cool. I saw easy. that. Yeah. You so went out to Coronado, huh? Went to Coronado for a week and then a Huntington Beach right after that, right that's before sick. the fourth came out here. So okay, was, that's cool. It was nice. I, it was weird because we were gone for like 12, 13 days, but we left kind of when there was a cool front out here. So I think the highs when we left were like 95. Mm-hmm. And it was nice the whole time in San Diego. It always oh, yeah. is. Yeah, it's always nice. We get back here and now we're back to like, Okay, we have a record <laughs> highs coming for the next 14 days. You start looking like, at houses. You start so like, houses yeah, out there. Your phone starts going off. Like, stay inside if you can from noon today yeah. until 8 p.m. And then you see memes. It's like, stay inside from noon today until November 2nd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be hot. That's yeah. when you start looking at housing in San Diego. You're like, can yeah, I? No, yeah, we were. And I was like, oof. It's a little, maybe it's not. A little bright. <laughs> yeah. Have to move to like a North County. Oh, yeah, maybe we should live here. Imagine if we had a house. It was like, ooh. 
Imagine if we won the lottery first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oceanside isn't that bad. Once you start getting like North County, yeah, like Oceanside, Disca. Inland away from the more popular touristy areas, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, there's, no, just, there's say, just certain coastal cities that are cheaper than others. Like yeah. Newport Beach and yeah, anything yeah. in Orange County is crazy. Mm -hmm. But then you go to the San, Di San Diego is crazy. But if you go to South San Diego or North San Diego mm -hmm. is. You don't want to end up in like El Cajon. That would suck. When it, like an Oceanside Vista, San Marcos. It was El Cajon. El Cajon is like San Diego inland, like but San Diego area, so South County. So if you live in El Cajon, Frank thinks you yeah. suck. <clears throat> Sorry, El Cajon. He thinks Victorville's better. What, is El Cajon? <laughs> what does that translate better? to? The box. The what? I don't know. What is it? What is it? What does El, El Cajon, Cajon mean? Oh, El Cajon. Oh, I don't know. No. I don't speak Spanish. I'm a No Sabo kid. No. Have you heard of that? Yeah, I heard of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard of that? Have you heard of a no. no Sabo kid? A No Sabo kid is someone who's Mexican who grew up in a Mexican household but yep. doesn't speak Spanish. But you also grew up in a white household. You were half first. Yeah, you're half and half. Yeah, well, I'm half. Yeah, half, half yeah, right. white, half so. Mexican. But I mean, I mean, no one bothered to tell me like how to speak Spanish. So yeah, it's No Sabo kid. I get it. I grew up in the construction, so I learned like all the bad words first. <laughs> I'd be out there yelling at the job site, like, vamos, puto. And, like, <laughs> and my grandpa's like, you can't be saying that. I was like, but they all say that to me. <laughs> well, I've heard you on the phone. Like, you're fluent in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty well. I, I was, I grew up, you know, I have relatives that speak only Spanish. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I learned it. My, I watched my family speak, especially in construction, right? The labor force and most Hispanics. Everyone speaks that language. So, mm -hmm. I'm pretty good at it. I, I, it's good. Yeah. It's cool because I'll play that part as a no sabo kid because I'll, I'll look <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it, and then I'll start hearing them, and then I'll be like, and then I'll reply back in Spanish. I'm like, gotcha, gotcha. Like, nice try. They're all surprised. Oh man, he heard. They're like, oh, he heard us. You're yeah. like, mm -hmm. but no. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. It's uh, just chilling. Summer, like I said, it gets hot, dude. And it's, I even saw my neighbor the other day. I was like, hey, where you been? He goes inside. Yeah. yeah. He's like, it's. I was like, oh yeah. Normally you're outside. He's like, yeah, dude, but it's over 110. And I was like, this is a good point. So yeah. I guess I'll like, see you. It's like hibernating or something. But we got on the freeway at almost like 4:45 yesterday in Mesa, and there was a guy playing frisbee in the field. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Like frisbee golf? No, just, just like throwing, throwing a frisbee. frisbee in the middle of a field yeah. by himself. Yes, mm -hmm. no shirt, just working out. That's, oh, it was okay. 108. It was 118. Is that a workout you can do? Just like well, at 118, I think anything's a workout. I guess it is. Dude, he would throw it. He like as I just was watching as we got on the freeway, and he like threw it. And he's all. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I said that maybe you should be doing that. Pick it up and do it. At least, I thought he'd at least be doing like you, know, you throw it high enough in the air, it comes back like oh, a boomerang. Yeah. Uh, boomerang. <laughs> no, he was not doing that. <laughs> no, he just <laughs> oh, right. seen all sorts of weird things on this little adventure around the the cities and the east side and the west side. Yeah, far west side. Over far. Either. Well, this, this is, is far west. Sorry. Yeah. Soon this will be like the normal place to go, though. I like, think so. It's yeah. growing. Freeways well, are going. You, well, if, and then the keep, street. Yeah. Well, if you keep going and go around the bend, yeah, they're building. Their plan is to build a hundred thousand homes over there. That's, that's crazy. That's a lot. I mean, that's you're lot. you're in construction. No, that's a lot. That's a hundred thousand. Go. You should go build homes over there. That'd be cool. You know anyone? <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to <laughs> you got to hook up. Then you can ha come hang out here. As you were explaining to me yesterday, that the reason they keep moving west is because they can't move east anymore. Yeah, it's all native land. Yeah, it's, yeah, that is correct. So they're just gonna keep going and going and going. Yep. Yeah. That's and fine. then people are going to like, where do you live? I live in Tonopah. <laughs> Tonopah is like going to have a huge, there's like a huge electrical thing going on out there. Like, I feel like electrical plants, whatever, like semiconductor plants, uh, computer chip, solar, plants, stuff. solar, all that stuff is out here in all this desert. Yeah. And it's crazy. As a kid growing up in California, then as we started coming out here for construction back and forth every weekend, I remember there'd be nothing. And now it's like, Slowly by slowly, yeah, I ten is reaching each other, and it's like <laughs> oh, I mean, you just yeah. think about it like another hundred years, a thousand years before there's houses all around the dinosaurs right there off I ten. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean by Morongo? It's like how soon before you we just think in, in a thousand years they'll have to put a dome over Phoenix because it'll just it's and just, then AC the whole city. Right. I was thinking about that because we were talking about how um, they they have those like. Uh, like you said that a bunch of like entertainment centers are popping up where they're like indoor golf and stuff. Yeah. And I started thinking about that. I started thinking about these, like just a million square foot building that's they're, just subdivided into little like entertainment. They're like, tearing down all the malls. Just, they're going to have to rebuild them eventually. Cause that's all a good point. They're tearing down these indoor malls with all these stores and all this stuff to build outdoor ones. 
And then oh, that, they're going to go, like, we should mistake. put a roof on this. Oh, like all the outlets, like by the Cardinals? Yeah. Stadium? Yeah. No one is there in summer. It's dead. No one wants to walk around an outdoor. Yeah. Mall. Westgate yeah, is all open. Yeah. And then like Desert it's Ridge, poor it's all open. It's crazy. Tempe Marketplace is open too. Like no roof, right? Yeah. That, yes. seems, that seems like some poor plan. <laughs> like maybe some poor uh, foresight. Yeah. <laughs> we can get stuck in that. Mm. Or retractable roofs. No, those don't work. Not at Chase Field. Not at Chase Field. Oh, it doesn't. It breaks a lot. Or Milwaukee. No Chase Field. They have to. No one can be there while it opens mm-hmm. or closed. Yeah, I think that's true for a lot of those stadiums, though. Well, I think it's just that that one is be a safety. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I, no, I think so. I think they all have to do that. Not Milwaukee. They oh, they, they open it during the game. game. Oh, wow. And the Cubs manager, uh, they did it because the the batters were having trouble seeing, and they so they did it while Milwaukee was coming up, and they were like, and Ross was dude, mad. That's he was a, like, wait a minute, was it was no, it no, no, jam no. up or something? It's all creaky. <laughs> well, the, the shadows started going away, so it became. Yeah, but the, what's the wrong right. with all these, all these, all these uh, covers and all these? No, I just think it's Chase Field. I don't think it's all. Oh, them. oh, I, I, I assume that it was I all of them. I just think I it's funny because that was like the big thing when they came out here and built this closing roof mm-hmm. for AC. That was like it's broken. It doesn't even seem like that long ago. So they don't close it at all anymore. No, they do. Oh, it's closed now. They'll open it uh, later, but like the Astrodome was the first enclosed. Have you ever done, like, have you ever looked at that? Like, from a construction point of view and then baseball I've, fan I've, point of view? I've seen, like, I know. I hate the Astros so much that I don't <laughs> want to learn anything about <laughs> Houston. Uh, no, it, is, it is super interesting. No, yeah, I that, get it. The Astrodome, not, not just because of baseball, but because of the events that they had there mm-hmm. and just the history of the construction for that and the, the amount of time they did it in. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. I just realized, low-key, our uh, Texas listeners are going to be like, oh. He doesn't like the Astros. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's all right. None of them well like known. California. Yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> they're, they're, all, they're all the feelings mutual. Yeah, yeah. We hate you. Hate our baseball team. We hate your whole state. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody listens. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. actually, yeah. That's cool. cool. Cass. Full Joe Kelly on it. Uh, Matt's. Oh, Joe Matt's Kelly. Wife. Oh, Matt. <laughs> Cass is just like, yeah, I hate, <laughs> hate everything about you. She's like, I hate your state <laughs> and you guys. <laughs> Thanks, man. But, okay. Anyways, and yeah, way back on track. Uh, so yeah, so so you really haven't been doing any, like truck stuff lately. Well, no, I, I haven't. It's like uh, so the reunion was the last thing I had my truck out. Oh, I that's right. Yeah. It up okay. For um, so Brian just put that mm-hmm. video out, which is kind of cool. It made me miss my truck because I started seeing clips. I'm like, man, it's just it got I don't know. It just got hot and going in the garage where I have enough space to do stuff. It just I haven't touched the truck in a while. Right. Um, it's just when I built it, there wasn't like we did the whole story of my truck and when we did it. So yeah. now it's maintaining all this stuff after 12 mm-hmm. years of doing this. And it's okay. I have old steel tanks and there's no drain on it. So I oh. feel like that's what's making my valve stick. I can't get the front right corner up right now. Oh, yeah. So it's like, man, I got to get the jack out. It's body drop. I got to take the bumper off just to get it. Or I got to try to because <laughs> I did. I put the, the manifold in a bad spot, too. So it's, oh, is everything under the bed? Everything should have put airbags on it to lift it up for the jack. That would be cool. But it's like everything's so yeah. tight on and the ground. And then drill holes underneath your tanks anywhere. to drain them out. Mm-hmm. There you go. And put a piece of gum on it so it'll fit back and in. This is so a screw. <laughs> if it was that easy, it would have been done. Right. right. But yeah, so I just been waiting. Suburban, just kind of waiting my turn. And yeah, tell us about the yeah, suburban. Yeah, that's what suburban I'm excited out. for. I just talked to Jeremy the other day about it, and he kind of told me. Well, where, where, what year is it? I mean, I mean we, we we went over it on the Grinder TV channel, but for people that don't watch that channel, yeah. so now I'm building it. the suburban. It's a it's a '92 suburban, the real long ones, right? Heavy. It's the Super Duty. Is your grandpa? It's my grandpa's. It's weird though. It's a two wheel drive, eight lug, um, so it's got the head like the HD. Yeah, it's like a 2500. Or it came with the stock 350. So it's, it's like Munchies from No Regrets. Yeah. Oh yeah, Munchies yeah. is still eight yeah. lug too. Yeah, they, that was a big thing with his. Yeah. Eight lug. So got. That kind of in the works now. Um, yeah, my grandpa had it. Um, he can't drive too much anymore. So again, it was just kind of coming down to maintenance. The 350 had blown for like the fifth time and he just always put a 350 back in it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I came across an LS. So I said, you know what, let's, let's kind of work on this and build it for this Suburban. Let's kind of bring the Suburban back to life. I don't think I'll give it back to my grandpa just because he can't drive it anyways. I think he'll be easier to get in now that it's yeah, not go, stock Yeah, go take high. for a so, cruise, yeah. You know, because he kind of has a walker now every day. Um, so it's just something that's coming up next. You know, I, I want that more so for these bigger shows and I can go further with my family. Because right mm-hmm. now in, in the 76, it's fun, but I'm limited to three people, me right. and two passengers at the right. max, and that's not comfortable, right? So 
And with it being all white, it just gets, gets so and beat up And you don't like to I put stuff it. in the bed. I don't like putting anything in the bed because yeah. it's all white. It's bed linered white. It's nice and clean. I don't want scuffs in there. Right? It's hard to maintain again. It's all maintenance on this stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, I'm so excited for the Suburban because then it'll seat, you know, the four of us easily. And Plus, a bunch of luggage, yeah, in, the all luggage stuff. in the back. I might and you can tow your other truck. And I can tow it. So that's what I'm building it for. So mm -hmm. the plan is I have it over at Jeremy, Trey 5. Well, I don't have it over there yet, but my wheels are there. I ordered some wheels. Your the money's wheels over there. so sick. Your like, money's over there. My money's over there. <laughs> I have a good deposit in there in the spot in line. But yeah. So first thing I did was order wheels for it. I know what I wanted. Um, our buddy Nick did a rendering of it. I kind of told him. I said, look, I want to keep it black. My grandpa's always wanted a black suburban, black interior. He loves the color black. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. I said, but I kind of want to, you know, update it a little bit also. Mm -hmm. So the plan is keep it as factory looking as possible, but with some new updates. So the wheels I went, 24s, mm -hmm. um, avant-garde AG wheels. Yeah. So, so did you, sick. with those wheels, did you just show them a picture and they made them? Yeah. So I kind of went off their website and just kind of see all the wheels. They're like bespoke wheels. Yeah, well, a little bit. I mean, it's kind of what they have their patterns for already. But oh. then you can kind of oh, customize okay. it, right? That's so cool. It's what, uh, like what, what kind of barrel, what kind of yeah. face? Like, yeah. yeah. Do you want exposed bolts? Do you want a two-piece? you want a mm -hmm. three-piece, right? And then it's um, what kind of, um, I guess, lip uh, profile do you want? Do mm -hmm. you want the spokes to be kind of um, contoured? Mm -hmm. uh, what's that what they call them? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, concave. In the wheels so i picked that I, I wanted a big lip but i also didn't want an exposed huge lip so i kind of had everything pushed out it's like a spec two or spec three they call it um so essentially it's a real like face wheel so there's not like a lot of spokes to it it does have some concave so it pushes it out but i like it so it almost looks like a you know those like european vans that are kind of slammed. They almost look like, like the rotiforms. Like a rotiform. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, like, right, yeah, yeah. it's like, kind of like a rotiform. Mm -hmm. So it has a bunch of little square windows all yeah. around it. Um, I wanted that look where it's kind of, everything's flush with the front, but still shows that there's a deep lip on there. Mm -hmm. uh, I went 2410, 2411 in the back. That's so sick. Um, so That's a really good way to save money on brakes. I think so. Yeah. Oh, so you don't see the yeah, brakes? Yeah, because if you got a spoke wheel, a 24 inch spoke wheel, mm -hmm. you have brakes. to put big brakes on yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's five, six thousand dollars in brakes. So now you could still put big brakes, but you don't gotta put like the the most expensive. Yeah, right, like right. six, eight piston ones or whatever yeah, they're making the, now. The ones actually no one needs. <laughs> <laughs> but they look cool. I've, I've thought about that. You know what? They, it's so funny you bring that up. I've thought about that exact thing because like when we talk about trucks and chassis and everything like that, brakes come up a lot. And I guess it is, that's strictly what it is. It's just a look uh, as far as like an aesthetic look between the size of the brake and the size of the wheel. Because yep. I'm all like, the stock brakes will stop it. Well, it, yes, they yes, but they will definitely fade fast. Like they they're not meant for that much of a mass of a wheel, mm -hmm. you know. So, but they make big brake kits that aren't that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, you don't need a like a freaking Willwood or. Anything well, they like make that. Willwood and Bear, but not those. Like they make different levels. Of well, yeah, yeah, maybe that's what, you I what I'm saying. Said, so yeah. like. So uh, what I mean is you don't need that, like he was saying, like the six, eight piston, like crazy. Right. I mean, we're not crazy. racing Porsches yeah. in a super cup out <clears throat> here. It's just like, you know, we need enough to kind of stop. It's the same thing that you don't need a thousand horsepower motor, yeah. but it's cool. But it is cool. But it I is cool. It's cool. But, well, that's you know, kind of like if you really like think a about 500 it. horsepower motor will scoot plenty. Mm -hmm. I mean, your white truck is probably 300 horsepower. It's like 300. Yeah. yeah. The dyno, oh, the best it did down. was just at 300. Yeah. Like, like an, and, and a factory LS is 300, three, 350 horsepower, like an LS, whatever. And they're fast, fast in a truck. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to keep traction. Thousand horsepower, you're not getting more traction. Yeah. You know what I mean? So well, it's sort of like the whole theme of, the, of everything is like, you don't really need it, but it is cool. Like, yeah, you don't need 24 inch. Well, it's one of those two, right? Wheels, like, like, oh, like, these oh, brakes I don't need absolutely nothing. Yeah, but, but you, you said how saying, much yeah. on wheels? Yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah, but that's I, I an like aesthetic that thing. Look. So it wheels or whatever, mm -hmm. the, like a motor will still get you down the road. Yeah, but you're like, okay, a 500 horsepower motor is X amount of dollars, mm -hmm. but for a little bit more, and you're like, well, I'm already spending oh, I mean, a little bit more. <laughs> like the upsells, yeah. I get caught in the upsells. Yes, yeah. Well, is everyone else doing it? Yeah, and I like how like we're probably like, we're like, we don't. And then we would be the very first person to do. No, I know, right? If if because if you were in that position to have it, you'd be like, uh huh, yeah, uh -huh, no yeah. problem. Yeah, I'm I'm like the type of guy that's like, don't fall for it. I would always tell Chelsea, don't fall for it. And then I'm the first person to fall for it. <laughs> okay, yo, we're going in cold blooded. <laughs> you walk in and you're like, oh yeah, sign this up. What else you got? Over here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, the wheels are so cool. The motor is so cool. And uh, 
it was funny how like when you because you've you've had that motor for a while. Well, a little bit, yeah. So I got it through. So a couple guys on our club, Brad Raff. He does a lot of stuff. He helped, I think, Joe a lot with his LS. John Trevino with his. He's just a really well. Well, what is it? Rounded in, in knowledge with the LS stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's been doing that. And, you know, he's one of those LS, the world guys, small mm -hmm. block guys, wake up, you know, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's cool. So they worked with the guy um, who was building this. He brought them a 6.0, essentially LQ4, like a big truck or van motor. Mm -hmm. um, and he says, I have this rock crawler I want to build it for. Well, the guy put a bunch of money into it and then just kind of lost interest in his rock crawler project. So I was looking for a motor and that's when... Uh, Brad said, hey, this guy's got this LS. He kind of wants to get rid of it. He has a good amount of money into it. We put all Texas Speed stuff. It's cammed out. It, you know, it's real torquey. It'd be good for your Suburban if you want to do it. Good for towing. It's going to be geared right. I was like, all right. What does he want? And I think the guy wanted $5,000. And the guy was like eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 into this thing. Just mm -hmm. get rid of it. <clears throat> and I was just kind of like the same thing, low ball. I'm like, ah. Eh. I'll offer the guy 35, like tell him 35. And so I just kind of kept joking with the guy for like a year, like mm -hmm. 35. Finally, one day he's like, hey, that guy said he'll take 3,500. Whoa. <laughs> and I had the little Azuzu pickup, the, uh -huh. the, the little stand. Oh, yeah, the, the one that you, yeah. you, you sold to Panda. Yeah, to, yeah. and then now uh, Tommy has it. But I, I remember cruising over there and I was like, is it at the shop? He's like, yeah, I went to the bank. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> you awesome. could only take out 2,000 cash. I was like, dang it, so I went to my other bank. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> Got another thousand. Yeah, had multiple money. banks, right? No. Real world problems. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, okay. So I tried to go to my other bank, and they're like, "Oh, you don't have an account. Like, <laughs> you don't have an account here, oh, sir." I apologize like, about you that. barely have oh. this. Bank. My point is like, this is a company expense, company truck. I gotta <laughs> yeah, get some right. cash out. We will get the security security box in the vault. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so no, I, I went down there, and the guy's like, "Yes, yeah. so I remember wrapping it up and um, taking it to Brad. I'm like, you want to so look it up? Sick. Here's what I want to do. So I mean, I'll have all the paperwork for it, all the specs, everything Brad put into it." Haven't dynoed it. I kind of had another buddy, um, Robbie V. Um, he helped me out. He's a real gearhead. He does a lot of mm -hmm. quarter mile stuff. He also has a YouTube channel. And he has a yeah, YouTube channel. Yeah, he has a cool YouTube and channel. He's awesome. He's a really cool guy. Very knowledgeable also. Like I said, he's a straight track racer, quarter mile, and he's got the little S10. That yeah. thing is wild. Mm -hmm. So he helped me put all the assemblies. So he works at Speedway. Um, so basically I got, what do they call it, a short block from Brad. So it was mm -hmm. everything. Valves just, um, no valve covers, um, I think it's missing the intake manifold, everything, right? The mm -hmm. whole top end. Yeah. Didn't have. So I said, well, let's go to Speedway. Ordered a bunch of stuff. Actually, I ordered all this stuff from Switch because Seth has a hookup with, um, um, who is that? Sniper EFI. That's Holly. Mm. So the Holly stuff came from Seth. He helped me out. Robbie put all of it together, got me the extra stuff I needed from Speedway. Took it to Frank at Eye Candy. I said, hey, I don't know what I'm going to do with the truck yet. I do know I want this engine to be the same color as the small block in my 76 yeah so same engine it's the same kind of lighter blue and, and then everybody that's, that's what i was saying like when you started posting pictures of it everybody thought it was the motor for that your was. truck and i and i kind of joked around with it yeah like, Maybe oh yeah I you should. played into it like that would be cool and i and if i had more time i probably would but it's like you know what i don't want to touch the 76 anymore at yeah. least not engine transmission. well it, it just it works so well it already. works good yeah. and it's just i just need to care for it more um but like i said focus is kind of pushed more to the suburban so Frank painted it. I had an engine. Jeremy hooked me up with the transmission. So before he painted it, bolted it all together. So I have the engine, transmission, the whole front end drive, nice. intake, everything set up on this motor now. So we're guessing somewhere around 600 horsepower with a lot of torque. Right? I want to tow stuff, like we said. I don't really need it. I want to put a supercharger stuff on it now, too, just because why not? It's not in there yet. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> so you're going like, to you're gonna build it gear it for towing so it doesn't it, you could put a, so much power to it but it's still going to be geared for towing so yeah. it's not going to be like a straight line which i hope that thing's long dude it gets yeah. really long yeah and that's what's crazy so it's uh we've taken it out a couple of times in the past couple of years um to monster jam so we will take my buddy garrett his wife and then he has a little boy so we got three little boys in the back that's of the cool. suburban because yeah, right now it's kind of lifted, lifted a little, a little, little bit. bit it's got some bigger tires on it i don't know my grandpa had it was job site little crawler yeah. and stuff right and that thing i remember growing up in so now i take my kids in there and they're in that's this cool monster truck to them going to monster jam <laughs> that's sick you know we're in here so they, they have fun with it so i I'm ready for those memories, ready for, all right, now we're cruising by places. And now like, this is a big bitch. Like people yeah. are going to be looking at us, giving us like, that thing is cool. Yeah. And that's what I'm excited for. But right, because it'll be, get you motivated to go to like, uh, it's going to get me motivated. To go. I would want to go like, I love the California shows now, like sneaking out to there for the weekend or two weeks or something at a time just to go hang out in cooler weather in summer. Like I want to take my family, but also 
like, hey, while we're out here, there's like a little car show meetup that we yeah. can go to. Yeah, that do that. We'll take the cool. suburban, and people will be like, dang. So, um, Grinder TV did the uh, Big Brown with um, Brad, mm-hmm. yeah. right? And I remember that kind of where you followed him through the national park. Yeah, yeah, his family. yeah. That was like cool. ever since I watched that, like that, that's goals right mm-hmm. there. Like yeah. that's what I want. Uh, that one dude that had the OBS that cruised through all the shows. Um, oh, he started yeah, with yeah. our show. I forgot his name. Sean? Sean Cooley or something? It was, was it an extra cab? It was, it was an extra, extra cab, cab OBS. Red and he, on some Steelys. Oh, yeah, yeah. he drove right? it around the United States. But he yeah. came to Cruise of the Pines. I remember seeing him. He's like, oh, I came from this show. And then, like, found him on Facebook. And this dude did, like, the Forrest Gump route and everything. <laughs> but, like, seeing that, like, that's what I really want to do. Yeah, that's what's really motivating. But not do you have like, myself. Do you want to ever want to do Power Tour? What Power Tour? Oh, you don't? Never mind. No, that's why like it's a bunch of old dudes just. Ro- it's not a bunch of old, no, it's not a bunch of old dudes. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, five or six days of shows. No, that's too much. The, but it's like, like, I want like a show and then like a week break. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like so show. this is like it's a, yeah they just have a route and it's just like you meet up, go to a car show, and then you're only there for a little while and then you drive like two hundred miles to through the back country and stuff and then you end up in a hotel and the next morning you're at a show, and it's just like. It's just, yeah, it that's cool. Cool. I guess never it, say never. Yeah. yeah. It's like it, it's definitely becoming like more of a, uh, you think of like hot rod power tour, but it's oh. just becoming more of just like a everything and everything. Yeah. Like what's the one where they have like drag cars and they have to drive the oh, drag. drag week. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah. There's more that's of those. Cool. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. There's a guy that did it in a Supra and it's like, didn't Finnegan do it? Finnegan did it. Yeah. 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 Whatever you can do, whatever you can haul in your car. In a, in a little trailer mm-hmm. that's it you can't take you can't nothing else that's it and you so you get to the show and you put your drag tires on do the drag race after the drag oh, really? racing and then put your drag things on so there's just like these two thousand horsepower dragsters dri- driving like, driving on the yeah, interstates that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. that's really cool yeah yeah that's really cool man yeah i'm looking forward to seeing your suburban come together too that's what's kind of do so yeah it's all right one of the last thing like i like how you also like like you said you painted it, it's kind of like to kind of match the yeah. square body so it's kind of like it's they're like yin and yang yeah they're exactly like fit, they it's like night together. and day yin and yang yeah. sun yeah. and moon almost thing but it's like it's exactly one's white mm-hmm. one's gonna be black and i'm gonna plan is to do it like the satin black oh, like okay. the satin white i have on the truck mm-hmm. the same colors that i have for my powder coated parts or arms and bars and stuff incorporate that to some sort of graphics on the suburban same fabric for the interior, the same SMS. Oh, that's cool. 76 Porsche fabric that I like, that blue with green. and Dude, that's going to be so cool. The black interior. Uh, so talk to Jeremy. He's, he's, it's kind of that's what the plan. Put it, uh, put it over there. Got, he helped me get the wheels. And then it's like, get me a spot in line, right? So it's, let me get all these jobs I have out of the way. So I'm hoping in the next couple months, I would like some progress by Dino's. That'd be cool. If we had like a roller oh, or wow. something on the ground, I, I, I can hope. Right, mm-hmm. but it's ultimately what they can put out and what their right. schedule is. I'm yeah. realistic. I can wait. I know they do great work, so it's like I'll wait my turn. You know, don't rush it if you don't have to. But mm-hmm. it's also because what are you doing chassis wise? Are you just chassis, doing like a front kit and? Oh, so he's and, gonna build one basically. So yeah, I have. Uh, we got the stone kit when we were out at. The, oh yeah, uh, I remember. Uh, yeah, the last slowdown. year. Yeah, last year I had La- it for you've a year. had that for a year. I haven't even opened it, but we have the stone <laughs> kit we bought. So that's the OBS I, front. I told Stone sorry. So when I went to. Um, What's the last show? Oh, classic truck throwdown. I'm sitting in the airport and I'm just sitting there wait, waiting to board the plane and J- stone walks up and there was an empty seat next to me. And I just went <laughs> oh, I got and he seat. sat down and I go, and we just talking. And then like two minutes later, Mike Tyson walks off the plane. No oh, that's way. what you, I yeah. yeah to so we're sitting there. Mike Tyson Mike walks Tyson by thing. and Jake, Jacob's like, Mike. And he looks back. He's like, Hey, really? And, we're like, and the lady next to him was like, was that Mike Tyson? And we're like, yeah, that was my dad. Put him in a body bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we, <laughs> when we fought him. Yeah. yeah. No, but uh, I told you, I was like, I hey, remember that kit I rushed to get? I was like, you got, dude, can you get it by this? And I was like, yeah, it's still sitting in a box in the garage. That's funny. Mine too. Yeah. So it's been a year since I bought it's the front kit. But yeah, that's a uh, plan on doing that. Jeremy's going to build in between. every Basically, basically a chassis. He's going to build a chassis. For okay. Um, I had approached guys like, GSI for chassis. I looked at Roadster Shop. No one really makes a suburban one, especially mm-hmm. for that long of a suburban. Right. Essentially, you just have to modify one. Since you just modify one, then it's just like, well, it's like, it's, you're not going to see any of this stuff. Like, I'm not going to have a bed you lift up. I'm not going to have a glass floor that you could see through. Like, mm-hmm. this is going to be a cruiser. And yeah. I would really want, like, paint the truck, put some clear bra on it, and let's just have fun. I don't want to get yeah. mad at my kids for 
scratching the paint or something. Right. I want them to have. I mean, I'm I'm gonna get mad. Yeah, but it's well. like, it's, <laughs> I'm not as much. I won't yeah. be like, dang it, you buy twenty five thousand dollar primer paint stuff. Yeah, that, you yeah. know, it's I got, but it's like no, I'd, I'd rather just have something maintainable. Yeah, especially since you want to just keep on driving this thing yeah. around. It's gonna things are gonna happen. Scratches are gonna That's happen. It. I yeah. want to do some custom stuff too. I want to put like a twenty seventeen Z seventy one front end on it. I think. Oh, okay. You know, Nick is real smart. He sees these kind of things, body style. Uh -huh. His renderings look really good. So on the rendering too, he's put a uh, full size uh, 2017 and then the tail lights are that. like 2021 Tahoe tail lights. Oh, cool. They're kind of close to the body line. So we're going to grab some of those and, and see how tricky it is, if it's going to look good or not. Right. But um, kind of keep it that same way as my truck, right? Kind of stock looking, but customized. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, that, those like, the, that's the best. That's I like the best that. Right I like, there, yeah. I like just clean, simple. The interior I'd like to keep a little bit what the you know my grandpa just had it reupholstered maybe five years ago just, oh really it wasn't a bad job i mean it looks uh -huh. nice but it's like i have a carpet kit for it. i'll put new carpet put new headliner all black everything is black as possible that's cool are so you gonna do a starry headliner uh, i think I, <laughs> I did that once and i think i kind of played out with it i'm like oh, i don't know really? if i want to do it's cool it looks but now cool. it's like i don't know if i want to do that again like yeah. i'd never use which it which one did you have it in in the in the mazda in the mazda 3 i had oh yeah oh wagon. that's right hey, okay so yeah that things over the in uh, are you, what stereo are you, are you gonna leave room for luggage in the back or are you just gonna fill it with speakers no i so it's hard. I, I want know. To that's what I was going to say. Because mm -hmm. you want to pound. Like, that thing can just pound. So it has a yeah. deep storage space. I'm probably going to lose the third row seat, Jeremy said, just because where the axle sits, everything. Mm -hmm. It's going to be kind of what happened with James Harden's uh, yeah. K5 when they built it, right? He ended up with a very tidy You can almost seat. use that for the stereo then and then the, mm -hmm. the back. I was thinking something like that. Well, there's so much room uh, back there. You could do so like 312. And, and they also have, have like those the wheel wells kind of are covered on the sides, mm -hmm. right? And behind side, the windows. I want to keep it for my family. Shows up. I had to take all the seats out. There's only the driver and passenger. Yeah. It's like, a I put a, but I put a bench in here. I put so a we wall of all in four, the back. Him, the wife, the two kids, I have to sit in the front because there's, it's just full of speakers. And oh, put four wide in the front. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, yeah. like talking about Munchie Suburban, I mean, his isn't that extreme, but that's Munchie Suburban, yeah. dude. Yeah. I think it's just a rolling, like, just disco. Yeah. Is that what he has? Oh, yeah, that's right. He has all the speakers. Dude, he has tons yeah. of speakers. Like, yeah. that's his thing. Like, whenever he's hanging out at a run, he just rocks that thing all weekend. Cool. Bad so thing what's the a long time. what's the first road trip we're gonna do? Let's, let's take this show. Yeah, on the let's road. go. I'd be down. Well, you're not, gonna, I, you're not I, doing I slow this year. So busy now. I know. I was gonna. It's gonna uh, be a year or two before that you even consider that. So yeah, I mean, it's gonna be at least till. Are oh, you talking about a road trip in the suburban? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sick. talking about a road trip like I'm thinking, okay. Like I said, it, LST. Yeah. Mini mm -hmm. Nats. Maybe not. Mini Nats. Not that soon. It'd be at least. No, a no, year I'm talking to like 2025. Oh, 2025. Oh. Uh, yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. That uh, like, Mini Nats? The Mini Nats? That the one in the valley? Yeah, Maggie, Maggie Valley. valley. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Dude, everybody that we've been talking to lately is like hyped on that show. Even, uh, even Seth, because he went, so he's hyped. Yeah. Even Joe. Yeah. Mr. C10 Vato's like. Mm -hmm. At a mini truck show? Uh, yeah. yeah. He's like, Seth got me all hyped up for it. I, I kind of want to go. Even yeah. Jeremy at Trey Five, he's like, Think about going to mini nats, dude. Mall. That's sick. Yeah, you should get out more. Jeremy's going to the slowdown too. That's pretty cool. I know. Would it be sick if Jeremy showed up in a Mazda with tri with twenty two right. inch, the, the, like the black one? Yeah. yeah. Um, People would be like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, although he's explicitly said he's never going to build anything. Like yeah, that but again. Jeremy's a liar. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that Mazda, his, that Mazda that he built is one of my favorite Mazdas. That's that one of built. my favorite. That black one. Yeah. yeah. It's so sick. I think. I think it was like a two part thing. I think it was one, he built this badass Mazda, but also when Surface took that photo of it. Yep. Yeah. And like yeah. that, that sort of just like made it, I don't want to say iconic, but definitely made it like a thing. You yeah. know yeah. what I mean? I think those two things together. That was so clean. It always reminded me of, remember Gleaming the Cube movie? Yeah. Remember like at the end where he like, has to do like that ultimate ride that day and then he gets the, the skateboard, skateboard out of a like, manhole cover? And he goes and puts like the wheels out. He's like, no, no, no. Yes, I don't, I don't know I what he gets. I gotta that. watch it, dude. That was Gleaming like my the favorite cube? part because then he What's had this sick skateboard, Gleaming the Cube, a Christian Slater. Gleaming the Cube. No, I don't remember. Yeah, no, so, it's like in LA and like Tony Hawk's in it, and they work at Pizza Hut. They have the oh, really? Toyota Pizza Hut delivery yeah. truck, and they just go oh, find man. like take a helicopter, go find empty pools, and it, it's it's a weird movie about like a Vietnamese gun trafficking and all kinds. It's of weird very stuff. awesome. It's but like has skateboarding. Cool. And yeah. it was definitely like he's the hero skateboarder. He took a bullet. Oh, it's an old movie. A bullet. But I his skateboard was out. sick, and like that's what that truck. It was such a clean look of like that black. It reminded chrome, me of like the Fast and yeah. Furious. There's a skateboard Fast and Furious movie. 
Yeah. Because yeah, at the yeah, end, the skateboard was. he built at the end and what he did, you're like, sick. Like he's jumping, he's on the freeway, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like on the 60 freeway in Riverside, like jumping into like the that's canal cool. and stuff. And Fuck yeah. yeah. No, but that, that's or what that, me. I always like that look. Something about a, a black and chrome is always just popping out. Like it just draws me to a, a, a moth to a flame. <laughs> a mic. A moth to a, 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 a mic to a flame. A mic to something. But no, it's a, that's what the Suburban is going to be. Essentially kind of black. Satin, all black, not kind of, but all black satin. With like a little bit of graphics, like blue. A bit of graphics, subtle. Oh, that'd be sick. Gloss, or all satin, and then gloss, gloss. black graphics. Ooh. Like a gloss black line to break it. Like the, like the sneaky cops out here that are like in black uh, Tahoes. But yeah, then and they, they have, have black have... stickers on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheriff, y'all. Like, hold on. <laughs> you're, all, they, you're all, it's clearly marked. You're all, uh, clearly is relative term. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's cool. Yeah, that sounds. That so sounds I'm excited for that. But yeah, until then, I don't know. You excited Lay for low. Dino? I'm excited. I'm always excited for Dino. That's like hometown show. Everyone yeah. comes to us. I feel bad for missing all the other shows people are at all year. And you can't like, go to. We, we've talked about this in our phone calls, but you can't go to them. Like you went so hard for so like that. Like, boom, 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 yeah. boom. Yeah. And then when you when people do that, when they go to every show, all this stuff and and have such a good attitude like you and get along with everyone and da, da 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 and then you miss a couple and everyone's like what happened to mike you fall off yeah mm-hmm. that's and what i was like, thinking about the other day like i haven't had a post on my instagram yeah. in but months. people got to realize like like that's all right like i like oro he just does goes hard with everything so yeah. it's like oro miss like and he drives that thing everywhere too. yeah so that's, yeah. that's really cool like and imagine if he missed like four shows in a row people would be like hey like, what happened oro? Yeah, what is happened? he okay He's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's okay to do that like you gotta you gotta take time off but then you kind of feel guilty about it sometimes and then you get and then it could get like how you get mad sometimes you're like so like uh like, i get so frustrated i get like a little bit of definitely a young man dealing with aggression yeah in, in mm-hmm. inside there's someone in there fighting inside but it's <laughs> little things frustrate me and it's like when i see something i missed out on too why didn't I just go? Why was I so afraid of all this stuff that was going to happen? I would have had a great time mm. and figured it all out later. Yeah. Right. That's the best way to do it. But, but on the other side of the coin, like it, if you do do that, then when you go back to it, you like appreciate it and get into it more. Cause you could maybe just keep going and get burnt. No, out. No, no, I'm just burnt out. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's like, it's the kind of, I joke with Brian about LST because I know he loves LST. I know it's like something you guys been doing longer than anyone else. I know, right. Some mm-hmm. mini truck stuff and, I've been there once and it was just a hell of a time getting there, right? Yeah. It was, we went with the kind of C10 guys. I planned on towing my truck and then you I went hard. My you, truck. Yeah, you I went hard. We hit all kinds of like weather and stuff and then decent time there. Good weather. It was a good time. I had fun, but then it's just like coming back home and it's like, man, I was gone for a week yeah. driving. Yeah. I was there. You know, I got to now relapse and want to live off that high I had from a show yeah. like that but it's like fuck, i gotta get back to work yeah. you know i gotta give my wife and my kids attention they deserve it i've been gone for this long it's yeah. like well there's so much more stuff i need to do so it's the balance I, of life in general like ima- like if none of us did this went to shows and all that stuff there are people that do that they just like don't really have a hobby like their hobby might be watching sports or whatever mm-hmm. so they don't gotta they don't have to figure that out they yeah. don't understand that yeah mm-hmm. And then especially with you guys having kids, it's totally different. Yeah. And it's like the balance of want, going to shows because you want to do that really bad, but the, also the balance of knowing you also want to be home and with your family. So then it's like that, that's definitely like a, a thing. Yeah. And also like with with us, it's unique because like you, you're you gone. And then when you get back, you have to go to work. Oh, like yeah, yeah. Ours is work. Yeah. Well, not only that, but like when we get back from a show, we kind of like take like we could we do that like a little oh, post, yeah, post show work break. From home. Yeah, we don't we, do anything for like three weeks. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, <laughs> true. But like yeah, uh, in your case, like you you do the show. It's such a long drive. You go to Texas. It takes a week to get back. And then once you get back, you got to go back to work. Yeah, like, you're right yeah. in. It. You're right back in. It's like it. all right. I got back at two a.m. because this happened the last time. I got back at two a.m. and by like I slept in a little bit, but seven a.m. I had to be at the job site. Yeah, and, and then, then you get like, off the job site and you got to do the home life. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. and then, and then, it's then like, you're well, back. Shoot, what did I miss at the job site? Now I have a week long of stuff that it's like. Well, we, we weren't here and you weren't answering yeah. your phone. Oh well, yeah, because I was partying and having. <laughs> I was not thinking <laughs> was about you guys. Stuff. I was doing stuff, man. Uh-huh. 
And then, yeah, same thing, get back home. But it's like, I joke with Brian, like, no, I'm burnt out. I'm not ever going back to LST. He's like, you can't say that, dude. Not on the show. Like, I'm my buddy. I'm like, no, it's an awesome show, but it's just like, it's relentless. It's just one of those things. It's not, and it's not even that show. Like, Minionats is even farther. That's what I'm saying. That know, kind of, that's, that's why they scare me to go on a road trip like that. It's yeah. not so much of me getting stranded or broken down. That kind of stuff happens. It's just, like, it's just, just being time. gone for so long. Yeah, no, yeah, totally. It's I would totally do it thing. if I was in a position I can afford. Hey, ship my trucks from here to Florida. I'm going to fly and meet you guys. We'll there. just quit that, your job good. and do Grinder TV. We'll just time. drive the Suburban out there. How about that? I'm not driving. <laughs> You're going to tow the Suburban with the 76? No, I'm going to pay someone to tow this stuff. Oh. When I hit the lottery, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, you're going to be like uh, Shulman. That's what Shulman does. Yeah. Oh, David, yeah. Just yeah. Get a big rig and fill it full of trucks and yeah, take see? it places. Yeah. Right there. Start selling watches. I was going to say, just quit your, your lucrative construction business and come work Grinder TV full time. Yeah, so that, yeah, exactly. You're already the elusive yeah. second I'm member the of... face of it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, no, I straight up run this stuff, okay? Yeah, this is true. Without like, my, we have a poll and just see like, who would you rather see with their shirt off, Mike or <laughs> Brian? I don't know. That'd be a. Bert Kreischer's helped my guy. My, no, it my is. You're like, hey, guy. eyes are up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's funny. Like, um, I was. We always talk about like on the podcast and stuff. Like, uh, when when he drops a new video and it's, it was like the Cruise of the Pines video mm-hmm. and you were hanging out. Those. I get so excited for those. It's so much fun. I, I can't wait to watch it. I watch it like a couple times in a row just because you're you guys, you're so entertaining. You know how to make it. You know how to work cameras. No, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're pretty you're good there. Edit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, it's just it's just so much fun. I always look forward to I, it. I look when forward to what he asked me to do stuff with him. And it's like sometimes we line up like um, I really wanted to check out the CK um, truck shows you went to the one Chris oh, puts yeah. on yeah I really wanted to go to those but it's also summertime and I told my family we we're gonna go on vacation and do stuff so it's like I can't be gone every weekend and then come back and right. I was like I missed another week but then I'm taking my kids to San Diego for a week or two and it's but when we get together it's funny it's, it's funny because we're like that all the time like yeah. he's one of my close buddies now where we talk almost daily yeah. yeah like if he doesn't answer me i get mad <laughs> and if i don't answer him he gets mad and yeah. it's just like oh man is he still sleeping because it's like we worked if he might be going to bed when i'm getting up to head to the job site right because he just can edit better when the day's you know cooler and it's nighttime and stuff so it's mm-hmm. but it's funny because when we get together it's the same exact now so much fun. i'll listen to the podcast and i'll just start laughing and then like I'll ask Brian a question. I'm not even talking to him. It's just you guys chatting. And I'm like, wait, I'm not on the phone with them. And I'll hang up and be like, hey, remember when you said this on the thing the other day? That's funny. Yeah, no, it's great, man. And he was telling me that uh, that you got someone thought you were like, uh, what, explain what I happened. Said, I heard that story. I listened to it the other I don't, day. I told it wrong. So someone just said, hey, Mike, it's me. I met you at something. Or hey, I think they were thought maybe you ran the, the YouTube channel. Oh, this was a comment. It was like, a comment. Oh, I thought this I was like in person. Yeah, yeah, I thought no, this was no, in person. No, 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 it was a comment. And uh, so I don't know if they thought like you ran the, like you read the comments and they were talking to you. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. And something, something. But yeah, that's funny. But it's funny because after the first Dino's when we did the, that, like the next thing, people were like saying, hey, Grinder TV. And they were pointing at him. And mm-hmm. I'm like. Hey, like, hey, that's me. I did that. But they're like, nice video, Mike. Yeah, that, but dude, it's that's just, hilarious. Yeah. So now it's in the you, so like, you just see more Brian on the camera now. He's like, hey, it's me, Brian. <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah, like Brian yeah. and I just filmed myself. I'm like, I'm making the video. <laughs> Tell me I did a good job. <laughs> that, that's, that's the beginning of the video. Is just I tried to do Mike it. on the mic without him there. I'm just like, Tell me your, your taco topping. <laughs> yeah do you, how do you like with, like when you come up with that stuff like the questions and stuff is it just like on the fly it's, like, it's on like, the fly it's, this uh, is this is gonna be funny to yeah, ask so it goes back to like me and my buddy in high school he was really trying to be a comedian so me and him would look up all kinds of like we'd watch tons of stand-up his dad used to call us the saturday night losers because we'd be <laughs> hanging out at the house watching stand-up by ourselves and renting uh-huh. low-budget movies and uh but it's just watching him, but it's just, I just like getting a kick out of people and reactions. So it's like, just ask him. I like watching, you know, the interviews pe- they would do on the street, like on the late night shows. They were like, we're mm-hmm. on the streets asking. Man and then the guy Billy thing. came out asking all those questions, oh, yeah, uh-huh. right? And it's just like off the wall stuff, right? And you, stuff you hear in movies, like, Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Yeah. And then it's just like, well, what if I did something funny like that? Started asking people. 
just random off the wall questions. Like we asked him, what, boxers or briefs, man? And yeah. like, <laughs> like neither. It was like, oh, that's too much. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. an option. And then you, the way you have to edit it is you just, it's just real quick. Yeah. It's just Which like, is, yeah. You know. Which is cool because we'll kind of talk before and it's, he does the edits. So I'm just kind of feeding off him and it's like, I'm going to film what I think is cool. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, what is your plan for the end of this? And so when we did Cruises of the Pines, he's like, look, I want to do really chopped up video, like really quick, 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 bam, bam, bam. Are you asking a couple questions, whatever you want to come up with. And we'll just cut it in there. We'll kind of make fun of Mike Porter, make him look like he said something. <laughs> like, yeah, I know that was there, hilarious. Dude. That was the best part. And, uh, what do you like about the show, guys? Yeah, so between, <laughs> but, yeah. Between him and Tanner, we like um, we like kind of catching them. And, and oh yeah, because Tanner was the up. wiener. Yeah, yeah. So since I've been learning more video, which I was thinking on the way here, like how long have we been doing this together? Is it going on three years? It was before COVID, or was it around? No, COVID? it was so twenty twenty. It was twenty twenty one Dinos. Twenty twenty one Dinos. Only two years. Feels like longer, dude. 2021 Dinos was the first mic on the mic. Okay, but we were okay. hanging out before that. Though. Yeah, we were hanging out before that, but I'm like, I don't know what we, the first video that, I introduced you as like a vlog part of the, part of the video. And that was oh, it. That yeah. was yeah. it. You introduced that was Trey Five, And I think I kept seeing you there when you moved out here. Oh, like when we first, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was it. You, I would see and then we Trey started Five. talking and then I had all my cameras for the job sites and my GoPros, I was messing around with my kids and skateboard stuff. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's what's that's what cool. We kind of set each other up, and so when I yeah. get a chance to, so to shine on there, it's like <laughs> it's not a fake. Like I, I'm the same. No, way yeah, every for sure. Day, which and is I think good. that's why it's so enjoyable because, like, I know you. So when I watch the videos, like, I'm all, yeah, that that's Mike. Yeah. You know, yeah. that that's definitely him. So just like, just like I kind of feed off your stuff when you go out there with your costume and you're out <laughs> working on your truck and you got the fake teeth on. <laughs> Dude, I love that's it. not Frank. That's someone. That's well, that, yeah, that's, that's not me. But your, your cousin different. that comes over. <laughs> When I, I saw him, was, I've had so many people, and I think I mentioned this before. I've had so many people who think that that's a different yeah. person, and I've had people like uh, just talking, you know, telling them what I got going on, and like relatives and stuff. And and uh, we were sitting at dinner one time with my brother in law, and he was like talking about it, and I said, "Yeah, I make these silly little uh, little promo stuff," and he's like, "Oh, that's cool," and he's like, "Who is that?" And I'm like, "Oh, that's Dwight." And he's like, "Oh, that's cool. Where's he from?" And I'm like, "I don't know, somewhere <laughs> between Texas and Louisiana, yeah. or something." And he's like, "Oh." He, then like after a while I realized he's like, oh, he thinks this is a real person. I said, no, 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 this is me. And he's like, what? Oh yeah, no, this is me. Well, the first time when Frank first sent me the first clip of what that. Was the, what was the first one? I'm, I'm having trouble recollecting that. Was it the square tank? Was it the brakes? Was it the square tank? Oh no, no, it was the, the spindles. Spindles. That was the spindles. first one. Spindles. spindles. All right. Was the, was the so first. when you first sent me that, you told me you were going to do something and you sent me that and I first saw it, I freaked out. Was like, it when he's coming down the no, just road like, and all the dirt? Blowing? He just sent me the he just sent me like the raw kind of clips, right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I, no, you said, you edited a video together. Yeah, I kind of like right? loosely you, you, put it you together. Loosely put it together, and then you sent it to me, and I went, "What is that? What the heck?" <laughs> I was like, "He is way too into this." Uh, there's it's that dude. Well, I think you were just that type that likes like just you almost like theater. Yeah, right. Yeah, like, like, I really like committed are, to it. You you you're very just like. Uh, open to things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, it worked. And when you put that on, you just became that person. I did. Full character. Dude. It did. It, it was did. weird. There was an old uh, Twilight Zone uh, remake they did. And it was like three episodes. They were full color. I don't know if it was in the 80s or something like that. But I remember watching that as a kid and it scared the crap out of me. There mm -hmm. was like these uh, cartoon characters, but they were real life. And that reminded me of it. And it like took me back to that. It kind thing. of and really I was just like, like, freaked out a little bit. Yeah, like a little PD. I was like, damn. <laughs> no it's fun i like doing it i was sitting on the couch the other day and uh, oh <laughs> this is funny um because like you know my my older kid she's 14 and you know she's getting more into social media and her friends are like and you know uh i was wondering when the day was going to come when like her friends start looking through my instagram and they're just like hold on <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about that because one of her friends did she they saw the video and thought it was hilarious and i was like man i should like so i started like kicking around these other characters but I think, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for another character yet. I think I have it's going to come organically. It, it does. I have one. Because, like, you have Dwight, who's Dwight. And I'm trying to think, like, what is the polar opposite of Dwight? So I'm thinking of, oh, like, businessman. New York business guy. Yeah. And I have a Cadillac. I have an 83 DeVille that looks pretty, you know, New York gangster kind like of thing. 80s New like, York. Like, 80s yeah. New York, you know, guy. And so I was thinking about that. So I was kicking around some accents. And, and I need a... To tone it in or like reel it in or something because Angie's like that's borderline kind of racist <laughs> it's like a New it's Jersey very, no it's very Italian like, oh yeah 
<laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm hey, not gonna do it. Yeah, hey, I'm not gonna hey, do it. Hey, do it. No, no. I, Come no, on, it's no. all right. We, I'm honing it. I'm. It's. Oh, you said theater. I gotta work on that character and develop him and I let him it. come out. Character. I can't push him. Character actor. Yeah. I give you a little bit. He's all. Hey, what are you doing over there? I don't know. <laughs> You want some pizza? You want a pizza? <laughs> <laughs> it's a surprise meatball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so horrible. horrible. I was like, I was like, kind of maybe toning it, like ramping it up a little bit more. So That's yeah. not too Andrew's bad. Like, once mm. you have, once you become your alter ego of Leroy. You might be. What's Yo, Leroy? That's that. What's Leroy? No, no, Leroy doesn't. There's no Leroy. When I don't know Frank, when that. Frank uh, changed. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh -uh, we're not, we're not going in there. Um, no, because I had that idea. Like, uh, I had a, an idea before. Not that idea. I okay. had a different idea oh. well, about the New York, idea. about the New York thing. Like when we were gonna do. Oh, this is funny because it kind of ties into you too. Okay. So like when we were gonna do uh, the Acura giveaway, I was like trying to think of something oh, clever. Oh, the limo. And you had the limo, and I had this idea, and I'll, I'll pitch it right here. I mean, it's gone, but I, I really want to do it. it. Just never came gone. to fruition. I gone. Oh no, you well, you <laughs> we know, have access the, to it. But, okay, so like what it was is was it was um. I'm sitting in the back of a limo, full suit. You're in the front with your uh, yeah. with your costume on, chauffeur. Your, your chauffeur costume on. You roll down the back window and you're like, hey, boss, the streets are hot out here. They're demanding the product. And I'm sitting in the back and I just kind of nod. And then I pick up the phone, cut to Brian's office. You just see like dark room. His hand picks up the phone real close on the face, all dark but shadowy. And I go uh, and, I, and, I, and he just goes, I got it. And then hangs up the phone and then it cuts to the. The Acura stuff. I don't know. That was Ooh. I had that idea. Just that never was, came that was it. That was like It'd a, be dangerous if you lived out here with with us three. It would be so <laughs> dangerous. It would be good. It would be good. It would be amazing. We, 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 we would give house. us our own show. We, we might actually make entertaining content today. We're, we make entertaining content right now. It's plenty entertaining. It would be better. I feel like you're the guy that likes Halloween. You dress up for Halloween. I do not like Halloween. No. At all. Okay. Really? Nope. Yeah. Do Which is you funny. Dress up for Disneyland. No. I don't like doing any of that. I don't like, you know, me and my pants and everything okay, yeah. and stuff like I don't like I don't I actually don't like it. But for you some only reason, like doing things on camera. I like I like making people laugh. Ooh, I do. too. I like making people laugh. I like being silly. Like if those things all come together, I don't mind doing it. But I'm not like, you know, um, you know, this is funny because I was going to you know how threads came out, mm -hmm. you know, and I, like I was trying to think of trying to funny enough, trying to think of something to say. Yeah. And uh, so, which is weird because I didn't couldn't think of anything. But I was like, I was gonna make a bold statement. I'm all like, because like uh, the other like week, it was like everybody's so excited because it's halfway to Halloween or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, Halloween's kind of dumb. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't like it's it's. I'm gonna like, tell okay. everyone. It's not that Halloween is dumb. Me. Halloween is fine. It's a children's holiday. It's fine. But it's like the hype that like get, gets around it. You know, like when people are like, oh, it's spooky time, Halloween. I'm. Like, I think maybe I should stop talking. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. All of our, I'm not all of our listener, some wrestling. of our listeners so would be not, like, you. I'm not into Halloween either or dressing up or anything like that, but I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. I get I it. I get it. It's I get fun. The like the hall, like Halloween parties, adult Halloween parties. Like it allows you to have fun without yeah, like true. without that. So yeah, I mean, I get it. I'm not, again, I was never a person to dress up or do any of that stuff. But when we would have Halloween parties, I would like loved it when people mm -hmm. would come in these different because it shows their creativity. Yeah, and all that's that true. Stuff and mm -hmm. so yeah, Halloween. Bump, bump on a log over here, and then I you know. don't like Thanksgiving. I know, like yeah, like Jeez. like I'm usually so reserved in these conversations, and now Mike's here, and I'm just like I've already pissed off uh, Italian Americans. You're racist. See that? See what I bring over here? <laughs> <laughs> this is the content people want. Yeah, I know everybody's just like glued to their the, you're gonna their, have like that little the green real friends coming like, out he's always happy but he's actually just a terrible i'm just a miserable inside. person yeah 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 uh, more alike than we thought you guys <laughs> <laughs> we were talking to uh joe about that last night too because you've you've heard of the uh like uh well i don't know what the the name is but it's like bozo the clown have you ever heard of that like guy goes to the you ever see the movie watchman yes okay yeah. and then uh he's talking about the guy who goes to the doctor anyway guy goes to a doctor and he says doctor i'm super depressed i don't know what to do and the doctor says, oh, I have a really good cure for you. The circus is in town and they have Bozo the Clown. He's really, really funny. And the guy starts crying and he's like, well, what's wrong? He's like, I'm Bozo the Clown. Yeah. It's crazy. It's it's chills, right? Yeah. I'm Dwight. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> so anyway, but how are we how are we doing, Mike? How it's been a year. You were on the podcast for a year how, ago. How been a podcast? How how have uh, we you left? listened to it? So I listened to most of it. Yeah. So is um, it, is it now that I started this good? job, where I'm driving like an hour twenty minutes every morning, um, I can actually catch up. So I've listened like the past four in a row. Yeah, oh, cool. But before that, there's like 20 I didn't listen yeah. to. And then there was like another four. That's the so best thing about podcasts, though. It's yeah. just like they're there when it's you good. need good. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I can go back and kind of see what the topics were you talked about, jump back into ones I didn't finish and stuff. Yeah. So that's what's kind of cool. So yeah, I've been listening to it. You guys really been blowing up. That was cool to see. So we left San Luis Obispo last time, right? Uh, I got home. My wife had found a dog and now we adopted that Oh, that's that right. Dog. Yeah. yeah. Um, since then, we added another dog. So there's four dogs in our oh, house. Geez. Yeah, little like tiny dogs. There's two yeah. Chihuahuas, one Chihuahua mix, and one Boston Terrier. Um, got two birds now too. So, so you just, so between now and then, you just started. A, you opened a zoo. It was a zoo. Opened a zoo. Um, petting zoo. Yes, I had a limo for a while. You had a limo that time. Yeah. Was that in the past? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's what we were just talking yeah, about. Yeah, because, about the limo. because Cruise of the Pines. That's what messed me up. Cruise of the Pines messed you up. Had got pushed back because the fires you oh, keep thinking october, yeah that's october uh-huh. so when we were supposed to have cruise of the pines in may mm-hmm. last year it got pushed to october because of fires and they shut it whole yeah. down it was all firemen staying yeah, at the and then we drove set. the nissan up there yes this year no that was this year that was this year no, was this the year previous but, year you took but the but limo it's confusing because we always think cruise of the pines is in may right so and when we take yeah. the limo you're like wait we took the limo before we went to st louis obispo it's yeah. like oh no okay no and but by yeah, the time this episode airs we'll probably be either it'll probably be after san luis obispo this year yeah because we're recording this uh, Mid July, mm-hmm. mid July, but I don't know who knows when it's coming out. Yeah, because we, we've couple done weeks, three. You already have a couple others. It might come out the weekend, out like right before Slow or something. Yeah, it's know. gonna be exactly. Oh well, no, but it'll be. Are it'll you be bummed close. you're missing Slow down this I year because it's on a golf course? And I that's am. Like your it favorite looks super thing. cool, but it's also James Harden, right? He's got a good buddy of mine. We met through Jeremy. And yeah. We both had trucks built, and we both have interest in trucks and golf. So he's got a place. He lives in Prescott, uh, where it's. 20, 30 degrees cooler than Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. So it's forest. still 100. Still 100. <laughs> well, yeah, I think he's still complaining 100. it was 92 yeah. degrees yesterday or something. Yeah. 90 degrees when he was playing golf. I was like, dude, I'm playing golf and it's 118 right now. <laughs> dude. <laughs> like, it's, 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 I just got to yeah. do something. I but just, you guys are in a golf tournament. We're in a golf tournament and it's like a once, once a year, it's like the, it's a member guest tournament. So if people that listen do, know a little bit about golf it's kind of a big deal it's, and if it's only do, once a year and if people don't know mike is very involved in golf i'm very involved you're, you're so i golfer. just kind of jump through these hobbies now it's like so but you've done golf for a long I've time i golf a lot when i was younger um played a little bit here and then and then really got into it once more of these guys i realized at car shows and stuff golfed and then more guys i met we moved over here in our house and we joined the country club just because my kids like tennis and yeah. I like golf and with my boys, I want to bring them up and stuff that they're interested in. Mm-hmm. So, um, so that interest turned into you hosting your own event. Yeah. So it turned into the own event because more people would see me on my stories or tag me in golf stuff. And it, Hey, you know, Ronnie kind of set up, Hey, you know, we're doing the reunion show. Uh, we got this really cool, uh, venue. It's a parking garage and it's the host hotel is one of the oldest hotels there in, in Chandler or Gilbert. And it's, a uh, San Marcos and dude, you like golf. They have a golf course right there. It's one of the oldest golf courses. Really nice, pretty cool. You should talk to them about do the golf tournament there. I was like, you think so? You think we get enough people interested? People are coming from out of town. Arizona is known for golf. It's going to be a little expensive, but I could try. So he kind of pushed me into talking to them, and yeah, they were all about it. Kind of threw the word out there, kind of spread, and yeah, it turned into something. So now we're on the second year of it. Just had it going to be yeah. on the third year. Third year. Next one, but. but it's cool. super amazing because each team dresses up. Yeah. Oh, they do. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh yeah. It's, Oh no, I do. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. It now it's turning yeah. into a thing. So now so what's guys, it called, though? What's the time? So it's called long drives and dope rides. Right. Yeah. So I kind of want to make it, let's turn it into a car show. So what really kind of helped push it was uh, Hector Payo from Trey five. Yep. He built that airbag golf car. Yeah. That diesel, right. Took to LST, took it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Dino's reunion uh it was real cool this year because they actually let them bring it out to the golf course oh, cool. and drive it so those guys were super cool at the golf course let us do that so now it's kind of turning into a thing where since then like the guys that kind of played so uh like scott from red b had a team trey five had a team you know eye candy jumped in there uh some of the firemen that ronnie works with provost, other car club right? provost guys yeah, i played one year and stuff so it's uh it became really cool that 
now it's like everyone sees these golf carts and I, I came across a Hummer golf cart oh, that that's my right. grandparents <laughs> have. <laughs> yeah. So I had that wrapped and now I'm talking with Hector about helping me airbag that that's so cool. for next year. But so it's a switch also had a team. Yeah, oh, Switch really? had a team. And oh, this year, this is great. This, this is year, great. they showed up as? They showed up dressed as me. Oh, really? So, yeah, it's funny. So, like, <laughs> Why didn't I see any pictures like, from this? Because I have all the footage, so I'll put the footage yeah. over. Oh, this, you filmed you, it. I gave no, him he some filmed footage. it. I filmed oh, it. You filmed it. Yeah, because yeah. he doesn't want to wake up that early. Anyway. No, but <laughs> I don't no. want to play golf. He was doing something <laughs> because really like, while I'm doing this, so, so the show's on a Saturday. This mm. is on a Friday, right? If the show was on a Sunday, we'd probably get more people on a Saturday golf tournament. But Friday morning, 8 o'clock. That's the same time all the vendors are rolling in. They get the place by like noon or something. So they're kind of staging, getting ready to set up for the show tomorrow. Um, so, you know, he wasn't there. I filmed some stuff on it. Um, it's kind of tricky, right? So I gave Hector a camera. I have a bunch That's of GoPro. Cool. So here, take this, take this, try to make it. Yeah. Throw my drone out there from time to time. Get That's some cool. cool shots. We're only looking for three minutes of content maybe mm -hmm. at the most. Because it helps promote. We all edit it and it'll help promote next year's event. Right, yeah. right. So he'll give me an edit sometime. And that's fun too. When you, when you had someone, a camera, it like, like cool stuff happens. You also did something very similar when you did uh, the Northwest Cruise of the Pines. Like you gave people yeah, a bunch I of cameras a couple in of them. Yeah. Which, and that was tricky because even the first time I held a camera and doing this stuff for Brian, it was watching the footage back and in a nice way he's told me like, I can't use any of this. Mm -hmm, like yeah. it's but when you first get a nice camera, idea, you're, but it's, yeah. you're not like, hold it, think in your head, like you're watching mm -hmm. the clip, right? Hold it. Yeah, yeah. Song, do a slow pan because then do your settings this way. I could slow the frame rate down. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was fun. But then you have three hours of nothing because someone just yeah. held it out the window like this. Yeah, but, it's like but I only sometimes you'll catch seconds. those good little nuggets of like oh, yeah. messing around, saying something stuff, funny. Yeah. Which we did too yeah. when they said some random stuff on there. Oh, yeah, that's they, what they, that's what I'm talking that's about. That's really the good. gold stuff. But so, so what was your reaction when you saw like how did it go down when you saw Seth and those guys come up? As oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So back to that. So, <laughs> so first you see the team show up. So between Jeremy, Trey, Five, and I, Candy, they all show up in these pink like traditional, you know early golfers 1940s 50s golfers in this plaid uh -huh. little hats with the balls on them then you have another team come out and they're wearing some kind of cool golfer shirts goofy but you know just kind of more people wear today mm -hmm. so we're sitting there and uh one of my buddies is with me i forgot who i think it was garrett and uh he's like mike look at that guy over there looks just like you <laughs> and i was like look you know it's like He's wearing like brown dickies and a white t-shirt and a black hat. He has long hair. Like that's some nice hair over there. Like, hey, he's gonna be warm today. Uh, and then like I see another guy, like, why are you guys matching over there? And then next thing you know, I see like two more walking from the parking lot, and here's a fifth coming up. And I was like, what the heck is coming? And then I realize it's Seth, it's Mike, it's Justin, and all these guys. Hilarious. And I was like, what the heck? Like, we're team Mike. And I was like, dude, I'll send you the picture because the uh, Oh, I have all the footage. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll overlay all we the took footage. A, we took a picture and it's all of us holding my wife across, like <laughs> she's laid across the roll. Like a wedding know? photo. That's yeah. awesome. That's really cool. It's That's fun, man. Fun. But that was, it, was, it, it was a good turnout. So yeah, a little heavily invested in golf now. And I you enjoy give a, it. And you give trophies and stuff too. Like, yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Was, well, and also there's like trucks parked in like different areas and yeah, stuff. Right? Yeah. It was kind of my turn to kind of host something, kind of throw it. I, you helped me a little promote it. We had some, you know, people you... Uh, gave me info to get logo and artworks and stuff done for it. Um, yeah, I made full on everything. It was really, really cool. It was That's cool. Awesome. Did banners and did prizes. You know, uh, is got this your second around. time doing it or third? This time? is the second year. So yeah, because last year we were talking about it at Slow because that you had already done it that yeah, one done year. Done the first year. Yeah, and that was fun. Uh, That's when Hector bought his golf cart. Out. So yeah, now guys are wanting to build golf carts to bring out next year That's and awesome. have a tournament where. So we we give out. Obviously, a trophy for a longest drive, right? Whoever can crush it the furthest, mm -hmm. but then also the dopest ride. So, mm -hmm. who showed up? Part of the parking lot, we block off to it, right? Uh, this year, I think we kind of picked out Justin's Roadster. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, cool. Uh, Ford Roadster that he brought mm -hmm. and parked right out in the grass. So, we might throw that up on next year. Nice. Or I might just throw my Hummer golf cart on there because it's really <laughs> that's cool. Pretty, that's pretty sick. Uh, that's and then pretty save sick. Justin for again. But I know if I could turn it into something where guys just show up and bring some custom golf carts out, like that's, that'd be cool. that's kind of, I just, I get, like addicted to these little hobbies and it yeah. comes and goes right like the go-karts are still in the back burner uh i have oh, bodies right. the, and the, stuff the sitting in cartel. stands and that one kind of went through a while i was waiting for scans i was trying to find someone that could build me bodies so i finally got some and then i'm just sitting on bodies and then have go-karts in my backyard <laughs> i have all these That's like awesome. hobbies. Like, mike goes invested. hard man he goes That's hard awesome. i do go I pretty hard that. it's like I appreciate that whatever so now it's like um what's the next hobby i'm getting into who knows 
Fish. What, what have I been telling you? What am I, no, not fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, remember, I, I don't like getting dirty. So it's, oh, okay. if right. it doesn't involve too much dirt, like mm-hmm. any... Uh, like construction. I know, like, that's what I was about to say. Just like construction. Like, construction? Yeah, like no, what you do for a living. I get. Like when I have to go to the job site and know like it's going to be hot, it's going to be dusty out there. I mean, to come he, shower and wash bring, my truck. Twice. And he brings an extra Costco shirt. I love Costco shirts. I'll always be wearing a white Costco shirt yeah. or a black one. Have you seen people making the, I don't know who makes them, but they have like Kirkland shirts. And then like some people put like the hot dog special, like, oh, like printed on the really? back. It's like, it's, cool. it's just literally the menu. I love it. Like the oh, real really? back. Yeah. I bought like, I went on Costco's website when they had them and I bought the full like jumpsuit. So I have the Kirkland crew neck with the Kirkland sweatpants <laughs> and I love it, dude. That's like awesome. it's just, it's, I, I do carry out here. You got to carry an extra change of clothes because it's just, it's just like I'll have to go spicy. to a meeting and it's like, all right, well, I, I got, always have extra clothes. Yeah, I have truck. a gym really? bag in the back of my truck and it's like I have deodorant, cologne. I have like wow, some, uh, gum. I have a shirt. I, yesterday, by the time we were all done, I'm all, yeah. I don't feel so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <exactly. laughs> that's why I remember I had that shirt in the camera bag. Oh, yeah. I always have an extra shirt. That's crazy. The the uh, So also like with the extreme heat and stuff, like you got to carry water. In the car. Yeah. I yeah. always have an ice chest of the water. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, man. When you were driving out, I was like, I hope you brought some waters. Like, what if you get a flat tire? Like, yeah. Then you run yeah. out of gas. Cause I thought about that exact <laughs> thing, too. And then I saw someone on the side of the, the freeway. It was like somewhere between oh, yeah. life, they sell, they, life and they here. They sling water out here on the corner. No, no, no. Like, broken down. Oh, okay. And like, it was, I'm like watching the temperatures 118. Oh. And I like see this dude and with the hood popped and I fly by and he's just standing looking at the truck You're like, like this. rest in peace. And I'm like, dude, that guy's so I mean, there's one thing if you have like a blowout in this heat, you could still keep like your AC yeah. on and mm-hmm. sit inside. Yeah, but, but if like your the engine crashes, or, yeah. like, good luck, dude. Well, like, you'll see so crazy. on certain roads, like I've seen it in Laughlin and, and going up through the hills and stuff, there will be jugs of water on the side of the road. Oh, really? Yeah, people will leave full jugs of water on the That's side smart, of the road yeah. for people like... Uh, hiking or wow whatever yeah i always offer the delivery guys if i happen to catch them bringing it up i'm like you want a water or something they're like oh yeah could you i some guy i was out front taking a trash can or something like last week super hot and this guy just comes walking his dirt bike up the road oh dude and i was like you run out of gas and he goes yeah i've been walking for an hour and a half he was way out in the desert whoa and i was like i was like do you want like I'll leave your bike here, man? I'll take you up to where you, he lived up by my mom, like a mile away. And then uh, I was like, "You want a water?" He's like, "Yeah." And I looked there in my garage. I was like, "These are not cold." Yeah, and he goes, "I don't care." And Whoa. he just like drank two of them. That's crazy. Yeah, and then the whole ride. a whole lifestyle out here. And then he made him push his. No, I was like, hey, you know, then you bring him back and make him push his bike. No, no, the rest funny, away. <laughs> like he, I was like, no, you could get all like and come back and get your bike. And then I thought. Why didn't I offer him gas for his bike? That's what I was thinking. Oh. Like, you don't I didn't have, a gas have any, city? but oh. I have a gas can, and we could have went up to the gas station you and got I got gas. gas. And then I was like, thought about it for a whole day. I'm all, that was stupid. That, he's like probably wondering that. But he like, could have also asked me for gas. That's true. His fault too. Mm-hmm. Also, well, his fault when for riding his dirt bike. you've been walking your bike for yeah. an hour and a half. Was this like in the middle of the day? It was in the evening, so he was had. So the hottest time of the day. Yes. Oh, hottest time of the day. Hottest time. Oh well, then see, that's like some poor planning right there. Yeah. Man, <laughs> it wasn't this hot. No, was he hot? Oh, yeah, like temperature wise. No. Temperature wise? What? Oh, I no. Wait, what? <laughs> when? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm going. I'm going back to California. I'll see you guys later. I can't. It was, it was a very nice experience, and thank you for having me and experiencing all this. But I'm going back home, <laughs> where it gets hot. Where it's only 109. It's only 109, but it's not 120. <laughs> and when the sun goes down, the heat goes away. A lot of dirt, and it gets a lot of dirt where you live too. A lot of dirt. Well, yeah, that's There's a it. lot of dirt here. And it's There's still, a lot of dirt here, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's I, just hot. Too hot. But it's funny because it's like the conversation every year, right? It's so hot. It is. It's like, let's just and talk the about how hot it Canada, is. in Canada, they're like, it's snowing. It sucks. And I know. It's like, and then when we're like in uh, January, yeah, and February, like, and we're all posting ourselves by the pool and they're like snowed in. For yeah. Well, yeah. That's the other side of it. I guess that's. Uh, that's what everybody tells me. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> yeah. that's what everybody tells me that, say, that it's worth it to get to the other end in, you know, October through May or whatever. This whole, yeah, there's probably 30, 40% of this, these two neighborhoods here are like snowbirds. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Maybe not that high a percentage, but quite a bit. Like, so these houses are empty now. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they're all up in Canada, Washington, Michigan. Mm-hmm. And then they come down here for the. Makes sense. Yeah. Hmm, that's cool. And then well, they can't drive. And, yeah. Yeah. That a, is that a big problem? 
Like, is that a thing? Like, all oh, these the snowbirds. Snow yeah, it's just like yeah. when people complain about anything. Yeah. yeah. Snowbirds are here, can't drive. Oh, yeah. Get yeah. off the road. Yeah. People yeah. just like to complain. Get in the snow lane. <laughs> they just like to complain. Yeah. yeah. You guys have road trips coming up? I'm going to slow down. Oh, I mean, yeah, but. Well, let's see. You guys just did three podcasts out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you are you do another one next week or do you take a break for two weeks? No, we're gonna, gonna keep going. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna jump back into one again, next your normal week. Once you just yeah. have a stack of episodes, yeah. you're gonna put out more than one a week, or you're just gonna have no, to no, figure no, it one out. One a week, and then at some point in time this year, um, I'll go to SoCal and we'll record like three or four episodes out there. So it's yeah. kind of the same thing. I think that's gonna be the go. You know what I mean? And yeah. then like we'll do it like maybe three times a year. We'll or like okay, I'll go next, and then Frank come back out here like the first quarter of 2020 four yeah and we'll do some more back and because there's like so many cool people to interview you know yeah like random people too like there's there's people that you know because we do interview like seth and joe like these people are kind of well known but i want to interview people that also are just in it Mm -hmm. i've been in it for a long time or not 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 even a long time no no just like yeah just just the guys that are taking their trucks to the shows the guys that are i mean there's a lot of new arizona guys like i don't want to say new but all those sunset guys you know what I mean? And uh, oh yeah, yeah, hey, those young dudes. You know, you know, which is funny because we were talking yesterday about uh, young guys coming into the scene, and we neglected that that guy from Sunset with the standard cab with the shell. Ryan, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's Ryan. cool. Yeah, he's he's a young dude. He's getting into it, and he's he's doing the he's damn everywhere, thing. Dude. Yeah, he's doing the damn thing. He's yep. putting together that cruise night over there. Yep. So, so yeah, cool there's time. a there's like people like that, and and other people that I just kind of want to bring on here because I think they're just as going to be just as interesting as anybody. It's a different here. perspective, I think. It's like. I was thinking the same thing. I look at these younger guys and there's not many younger guys because this is an interest to everyone yeah, anymore. Yeah. Like it was to us, right? Mm-hmm. We didn't have cell phones and internet back then. We had a truck to go drive around and do stuff. In. That's true, yeah. And I, I don't, I'm not that old. I mean, I'm only a couple of years from 40 now, but it's like, I don't have the interest in it like I used to. And it's like, it's not for any reason. It's just our lives are changing. Yeah. That's what happens. And it's, yeah, I, I think I could easily sneak out of town to go on a vacation with my mm. family than I would be able to sneak out of town to go to a car show. Your kids are also to the, uh, getting to that age where... They're finally at the age where it's good for them to make memories now. Like yeah. They're not mm-hmm. too young, but they're not too old either. They're not old enough to where they're going to hang out with their buddies yet. Yeah, where they're not going to be like, oh, well, I don't want to go. And it's like they're having fun with us right yeah. now. Yeah. How, old are, what's your, how old is your oldest? My oldest is nine, about to be 10. They're about to be okay. 10 and 8. But basically yeah. nine and seven right now. So. so my kids are 14 and 11. Yeah. And they've kind of entered another thing. Because I went through that too. When they were very young, they're like very intense. Like you have to watch over them. Yeah. They need a lot of attention. Yeah. And then they get to a point where they're kind of like where your kids are at, where they're developing their own personalities and, they ha- and they're developing memories. And, you know, they're, they don't need as much attention. And it's cool to take them places. And now my kids are entering a thing where they're figuring out who they are. So it's like, I mean, they still like to go on vacations and stuff like that. But they're they're more into like trying to find out who they are yeah you know what i mean so you it's just it's interesting cooler and you're like why what happened to my funny stuff you used to say that's not funny dad <laughs> so frank's like i'm like, cool I just too want them to get to the point where they'll <laughs> sleep in past five in the morning because right now they're like at that stage where oh. kids wake up early and don't know how nice sleep is and it's just <laughs> oh like, well yeah my other my other mine have have entered into that they'll sleep until like 11 yeah. and they come out and ask you just random questions at like 5 45 <laughs> in the cool. morning like dad why is the cookie monster eat so much cookies? <laughs> no, like, I don't know, man. You're like, I don't know. Okay. I was up till three playing Mario Kart. You need to give me some. <laughs> or he'll come in like the young one came in the morning the other day. I'm not even kidding. He got like uh, the spicy Cheez-Its, like the A1 che- or the uh, Tabasco Cheez-Its. Mm-hmm. They come in the box. He loves spicy food. So he was asking for hot sauce the night before. He just wants more hot sauce. Well, he, what he did was <laughs> he put like a Tapatio or like Gunslinger sauce in the bag with the stuff in it and then comes to me he's like dad you need to try this and I was like I don't want it and he's like really like dips his head in the bag and like goes and put it in my mouth and I was like I don't want any dude and like try to smack it I was like why are my lips burning right now that's hilarious and I was like what did you just put in here he was like dude are they spicy I was like yeah, yes I was not expecting that was that your younger one yeah yeah and he's like oh yeah I like him and I come out there and he's like here's just hands are full of chili and like I was like your mom is kill you clean up this now <laughs> that's funny yeah, dude, but it's that's cool it's uh it's kind of where i'm at. i see these guys that's what i'm getting back to it's like i just think we're at different stages in our life mm-hmm. and it's like i miss it i miss hanging out it's like i it's not going anywhere i yeah, try to tell people nowhere but yeah. it's like it, this 
even we have car club meetings now and we're supposed to have them every other week and it's just to get us to hang out but i see myself not making it because every other week huh every other week every, every yeah every other sunday jeez i just haven't gone it's just we've been traveling yeah and it's like i just told him like look i don't i'm still active all those guys, a lot of those but guys have kids. We're too, all like it's the that. same. Mm-hmm. We've all yeah. talked about it, right? John has kids. Justin when, has, when kids. John's kids, Brett has kids. I mean, John couldn't go to Forbidden because his kid was doing football. Yeah, and I get it. You, you know what I mean? Like you, yeah. And John hasn't missed a Forbidden in, you know, forever. But that stuff, it just takes priority. Yeah. And it also, it's like you should also want to do that more and be okay with wanting and not yeah. feel guilty about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't feel, feel guilty. guilty mm-hmm. about it. But you also feel guilty about it internally because you're just like, I kind of want to hang with my friends too, but at this, like there's a there's like an inner battle. I want to hang mm-hmm. with my friends too, but not on a Saturday night at a pizza place when <laughs> it's 108 <laughs> degrees. Oh, like, I love work. their show. I, was, I wanted to go to it, but I was just like, oh, oh my I truck know. doesn't work. Yeah. I was like, and that's hot. Mm-hmm. I know. I, I feel bad because it looks cool and like it does. Look it cool. would be cool. I could drive down and we could take your truck because I don't have anything cool. Yeah, right I just now, I so. wouldn't be comfortable. I no, would take I, my I, truck I, and be like, I stay in the AC. Yeah. And like if I'm uncomfortable, like I want to go home. I don't mm-hmm. want to sweat right now. Yeah. I could be in 74 degrees in my couch right now. Yeah, or yeah. the pool, right? So oh, we should just do car shows at pool places or something. That'd be the places cool. where there's like a beach, cars and pools. Yeah. Cars and pools. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Where could in Arizona could you do that? The new Mattel place that's opening it up that's supposed to keep opening up each well, year. Like but hot, it gets pushed back. <laughs> That'd be cool. Maybe we should do that. An indoor uh, car show venue with the uh, wave pool. When you just park your trucks along the wave pool. In the wave pool. In the wave pool. Just park. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Park in the wave pool. Where's yeah. an indoor wave pool? Uh, I don't know. Texas. I oh think no, there's know. one at like Kiwanis Park. Really? Yeah. Oh, I remember going there. Anyways. Anyways. Anywho. What else is going on? What are you looking forward to? Yeah. Dino's, obviously. Yeah, Dino's. Because it's easy. So the stuff out here that's coming up the rest of the year, what do we have? We have um, Dino's. Severed. We have Severed. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like our Noise show is going to be in January or February, typically. I hope they bring it back. They didn't. They how, didn't many t- how many they years? They didn't do it this year. Well, they is did it the only this one July year? show. Huh? It's only been this one year that they haven't done it. Uh, it COVID. COVID also. Well, yeah. But 2021, they didn't do it. Twenty. 22 they did oh um c10 intervention are you going up there or oh, norcal aren't you taking to take the i was thinking about it. i wanted to i don't think i'm going to take my truck to that the 76 uh i want to go to it just to check it out it's in a nice area. Uh, i talked to my buddy dave herrera remember we, oh yeah 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 I follow, super cool dude. yeah i follow him on instagram now i love dave yeah, he's my he's boy cool so when we talk i said hey i kind of tossed the idea of me and ashley flying out to him and he lives in Gilroy. Mm-hmm. Oh, he lives in Gilroy. Yeah, so oh, I was going to okay. fly out somewhere close. The garlic capital. Yeah, garlic um, capital. Mm-hmm. I just uh, drove through there. to meet up with him. He was going to have me jump in his Tahoe, his little two-door Tahoe. You know, it was one of his show rides. And me and the wife follow him up in his rig. That would be cool. That would be cool. You know, kind of meet That's back. That's Sacramento, and right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Woodlands. Yeah. So yeah. just right outside of Sacramento. So considering the intervention, oh, yeah, okay. if I can make that work, if I can get the wife to sneak out, you know, that would be like a, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday kind of thing. Yeah, that's in September, right? Yeah, I think it's like Labor Day weekend because it's um, like that Sunday's end of the show that gives you Monday to get back and stuff, I guess. Cool. Which is cool because I want to catch up with with those guys, a lot of those old truck guys up there. Mm -hmm. My buddy Provost is up there. Then you got Drop Lower Crew and a lot of the guys we met when we were at Slowdown. Uh The same crew that puts on interventions. Okay, cool. Yeah, those are all a bunch of great guys. That's awesome. So looking forward to those ones. I mean, if I can sneak out, that'd be great um i don't really know what else is coming up besides those i'm just kind of sitting in link like what do they say Wait, limbo limbo yeah, until limbo. um yeah until i like, figure out my truck and that's the thing it's just i'm just a baby gotta fight through the heat go sit in my garage at 2 a.m right i don't i sat my mom's house thoughts was hard it's stuck in her garage oh, yeah. her. my garage i have ac and everything in it but it's mm-hmm. well shoot it's not going to be that easy so i'm just thinking let me get it put up and then I've been trying to get with Seth to see if he has time to squeeze that truck in there and just get it maintained, get it maintained. It's mm-hmm. like, cause I could sit on there for two days, three days, four days trying they to fix my truck and getting it. And it's like, well, they have a lift and they have the tools and they can mount this and weld this and tack this here yeah. and fix mm-hmm. this stuff. And, um, plus he has the product too. So trying to upgrade that to AccuAir. Oh, cool. um, is that a, well, yeah, the switch. I have a switch speed, a uh, switch speed. We went so over that. Gonna go, so uh, I'm going to go E-level. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go, Valve, uh, valve tanks, either uh, endo, endos. Mm-hmm. So 
kind of where I have the two three gallons right now on each side, replace those with the endo three gallons. Nice. Right, those have the drains and everything on them. I think my problem is those steel tanks are rusty. Yeah, yeah I had yeah, to change the tank in, your... in mine. Because so, what do you have for a valve? Do you have the block, the valve? I have the VU4. So it's probably, it's you probably got sticky. rust I think in there it's rust stuff. in there mm -hmm. and it's just sticking open where it happened to me on the way home from, inter, uh, from reunion. Remember, I called you and I was like, dude, I'm stuck at the signal light. Like in the left turn lane, I can't go. My front right is dropped all the way to the ground. And I hung up. I on. wait there for like, Yeah, then he hung up. <laughs> then he hung up. <laughs> cool. He's like, oh, uh, Ken is. <laughs> uh, do you want me to come film it? No, that's solo. all I know how to do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> can we, can we film it? It'd be great. It would be great. Are you mad right now? <laughs> capture that. Capture, pull out your phone. Capture that. No, I ended up sitting there for like 30 minutes and was like, you know what? I'm just going to wait for this thing to just get to 200 PSI, like really cranked it up. And I said, mm. as soon as that light turns green, I'm just gonna hold that button down and make this turn and get over to that gas station. Well, I held it down and like right as it ran out of air, like it popped up and locked it and kept oh, it in place. Cool. So I was like, oh my God. So I drove it straight to my mom's and parked it. Oh, that's cool. And I haven't been able to get it up since You didn't then. like Probably mess up your wheels that, or anything? Take that valve block out, rebuild it, take those tanks out, you'll be good to go. Well, I have like two more of those valve blocks just sitting just because I had one rebuilt at one time yeah. for the same issue. And it's that's like, what, it, that was like Frank with his 4Runner getting frustrated and not wanting to drive it with the gas. Yeah, so yeah. It's like you fix that right? stuff. It gets and then it. it. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like, God. And then I saw that video someone tagged me in just the other day. Oh, uh, um, uh, Rick. Yeah, um, Rectified. Yep. And I was like, I even messaged you like, dang, my truck looks really nice. Like, it still does <laughs> what, look what nice. Is, what is it? What was, uh, he did a Instagram clip, reel. like a walk around reel of uh, my truck at the oh, reunion. Okay. And I was looking, I was like, oh, I forgot my whole engine bay Dude, looks that nice. Yeah. I forgot my paint looks that nice. It's funny that you're talking about that and what he mentioned. It's like, I had a gas tank issue most of last year. Yeah. And it was just, again, life, family, business, just everything getting in the way not getting to it and then i finally got to it finally got it resolved and then i forgot I'm like oh i love this truck yeah you know now you're you looking drive forward it. to go to next yeah now i'm years. like yeah yeah i'm gonna take it out next weekend and i'm like i'm gonna get in that thing and drive it so it's crazy how little that you know probably people listening or, or and viewing like or like it's just why why it's such a badass truck why aren't you getting it done? Yeah. it's just something that I'm happens sure some can relate to what we oh, are I'm sure, it's like sure. you just do all this hard work out to you get it to a show you wipe it all down you do that every weekend and then all of a sudden it's just like one little problem it's like well man it it's has gonna to take me so long to get it fixed yeah. but mm -hmm. really it wouldn't it's like this could be done in a day or two and you'd be back to it but it's it, like it, well yeah. it's also yeah it's it has to function it has to function it has to function and and air ride air ride gets a bad rap sometimes yeah because people don't like your steel tanks that's the wrong thing to that's do. me so that's, and i don't goes, maintain them it would if, be all right if i was to drain them every single time well, the thing is, is if someone goes to a shop and gets that done and they install steel tanks and then two years down the road they have problems all they're going to say is i don't like air ride i want i just want static. that's true yeah. you know what I've, I mean? I've, i'm guilty of that yeah ever, so many people have said it because mm -hmm. why because they don't get the shop does a disservice mm -hmm. you know what i mean so it's always important to have your stuff done by someone that knows what they're doing. Yeah. It's going to make your life more enjoyable. Yeah. And it's going to la later on down the road, you're going to want to take your truck to shows. You're mm -hmm. not going to want, it's not going to be a hassle. No. And I feel better like once I get that stuff done. And yeah. that's the only thing I really haven't changed out in the truck since the remodel or whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it, were the tanks and kind of the air ride. So if I could get it into somewhere like switch where I know that they sell accurate products, they're, you know, they're the vendor for the stuff. They have the knowledge and the tools to do all that mm -hmm. stuff. I would drive it and feel way more comfortable. Yeah. With it, right? I, it's, I think you and I are very similar because there are types of people, again, some people listening would, would say like, why don't you fix it? Cause there's some people who like to do that stuff. They like to have, be in their garage yeah. and changing, and yeah, like changing and tanks and all yeah. this other stuff. We just want to drive our trucks and have fun. Yeah. Like I, I would rather pay more or pay other people to fix it. Mm. I just want to enjoy it and drive it and go have fun. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then again, that's because maybe we fill all of ourselves with this stuff. Yeah. And there's you know some I mean? stuff yeah. I'm not saying like I wouldn't do do it if it was something simple as an oil change or changing out a filter yeah, or something. I know, definitely yeah. But definitely when it comes that, to something like that, yeah, I just get like, no, I, I'm shunning you because I don't want to see you right now. Mm. You are, you are spoiled good. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but it's like, but then it's goods. also like my personality, right? Then I start like making myself busier with other stuff. Mm -hmm. So now it becomes on the back burner. Yeah. So like I am a rain man type of guy where I write down everything. Goodwill hunting. I still write down notes all the time. And my whiteboard in my office now is just filled with stuff on there. Right. And it's from work billing to hang the pictures in the boys room to mm -hmm. order parts for the truck, order the Acura stuff you need. Right. It's, um, all kinds of stuff. And I just stare at it every morning. I'm just like, where do I even start? Yeah. 
Like I just, I have so much going on. It's hot out here again. And it's God, where it's just, I don't know. It's, I feel like things are really slow right now for mm-hmm. me. And it's like, I just got to find California. that motivation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up and be like, whoa, beautiful smog. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, San Diego, move to San Diego. We want to do a smog. Move to San Diego. Then you wake up and you're like, I don't have money to work on my truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the Dang it. I sold my truck. I need <laughs> to buy a <laughs> condo. Right. I need to make my mortgage payment. So I sold <laughs> my truck. <laughs> Problems are problems are problems. Yeah, yeah well, just been just been laying low. Everybody's got them. Move to San Diego though, and get when you do, make sure the house has like a guest house in the back mm-hmm. with access. So, mm-hmm. you know, so if people want to come and stay with you, and mm-hmm. it's for free. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like my like my close buddies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. like like uh, maybe two guys with a podcast who can yeah, come yeah, and yeah. hang out. Yeah, or you know, if they want to bring their family and like go to the beach for a couple weeks, yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah, do that. No dogs. Make sure there's a, <laughs> make sure there's a kitchen in there. Yeah. Kitchenette? Yeah, like, you know. Full kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, like, he's all, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, man. Relax. All right, I'll settle for a motorhome in the back. Oh, right? you're talking about you yeah, coming yeah, over. Yeah, oh, that. that's <laughs> what we're alluding to. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I need to hit the lottery again, remember? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. One day. If I hit the lottery, I'll think of you and do that. <laughs> Be like, Mike, I remember everything we talked about you should do. I'm doing it. I put a boxable in my backyard for you. A what? Co- a boxable. What's a boxable? It's a house that a full, uh, shows up on a trailer and folds into a house. Oh. What? Yeah, the companies in Las Vegas are amazing. Oh, wow. I got to look at yeah. that. Cool. Nice in your house in El Cajon. <laughs> I want to put one in the backyard. Here? Chelsea wants one. She's like, can I have my own place in the back? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm done with this yeah. in here. I, t- I showed it to her and she goes, I like that. Can Possible? I have one? I'm all, well, you don't want to live in here? She goes, no. Nah. Go to vacation mm-hmm. home back there? <laughs> Go vacation in the backyard? Yeah. yeah. I like it. You get the whole house then? Yeah. 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 That's Mike's a good all. deal. I'll come over and hang out. Yeah. You got three rooms. <laughs> and there's three of us. Podcast studio. Which you guys don't have a bedtime, do you? <laughs> <laughs> we could bring our Nintendo Switches. Mm. I'm all about video games too. Yeah, I'm, I'm deep into that's video what games. You're saying. Yeah, between I, uh, Mario Kart and Call of Duty. See, that's the thing. I'm, I'm torn because I don't want to get deep into video games. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, so I'm like, but I do. I buy a Switch for Mario Kart because I like Mario Kart. But if I think if I get the PS5, right, that's what they're on. Mm-hmm. The last thing I bought was a PS2. Yeah, PS5. Oh, really? PS5. So PS5. But then I'm like, am I going to be up just, am I not going to get anything done? That could be that's the risk. The you risk. could get addicted. No, you and do. Just, like, you just got to prioritize. I don't like, have, I stayed up playing Mario Kart till 2 a.m. this morning. And, like, <laughs> I'm still here. I guess I stayed up till 1 scrolling TikTok. So that's true. That's the same thing. Yeah, that's true. But then I would get done with Mario Kart at two in the morning and then scroll TikTok till four. I guess because I, I did that also. <laughs> I think I played till one thirty and then scrolled yeah. Instagram for yeah. It's like no one's up at two o'clock posting stuff that I know. So. Uh, I was gonna text you and I was like, oh maybe it's too late. I was, was gonna like, text you too last night. We were thinking of each other. Yeah. Because I was like. And I was passed out. I was like. Because I was I told you like I want to do this last night. It's like maybe I'll just come over late. And I was like, oh. then I saw you guys Instagram story at nine o'clock loading up at Joe's and it was like. Ooh, Real late. Now, I wonder how early they want to do this then. I was up at six. I know. You text me. Like, yeah. Frank's asleep. What's the plan? <laughs> <laughs> and, then went, and then I passed out till 940. Oh, he's asleep. I woke up and Frank's on the couch and, and, and I was like, oh, I was like 945. <laughs> You're like, what's happening? What's going oh, on? You woke up next to him, like not remembering next. Oh, to well, no, you were on what? the floor. Oh, you're on the floor. Yeah. I woke up next to Frank. I was like, what happened? <laughs> It was wild. Yeah. No, Mike's I was bringing Jack in the box. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> My, Mike's bringing Heck, heck normal. two giant bags of Jack in the box. 60 bucks worth of <laughs> Jack in the box. <laughs> Jeez. And That's on my tip. Instagram story when I opened the door. Uh, was it? Is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I opened the door and like, like put him on my Instagram story. It's With, oh the tip thing was funny. He's all, can you want to leave a tip? <laughs> 10%? 20%? I'm all <laughs> no decline. 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 No yeah, I put decline. No decline. tip. No tip. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, thanks, man. Thanks for coming. That was a pleasure. Thanks for having me yeah, over here. Cool. I'm glad uh, you guys had time for me. I Thank think, you know, me. we're talking about coming out and like doing more, you know, doing these things. And I think maybe we should always do one with you when I'm out. Here. I like it. And then that'd be cool. Or let's like, just yeah. like cool. triple team someone. Oh, we have four mics. And maybe do a podcast too. We only have one mic. No, we have one mic. We have th- four microphones. There's actually four mics right here right now. Oh, the one on the camera. No, no. There's five. Oh, these three uh, and that mic. Okay. But then, there's, no, he's right. There's, there's five, five mics. Five mics. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Peace. Thanks for for watching. (laughs)